video progress bar 17 seconds of one hour. Skip skip back to it. View live stream now with live chat. Grupo. View live stream Addition. Now with Progeter M. Capture R. Tila. Progeter M. Progeter M. Jainla. Progeter M. Tila. Third. Progeter M. Tila. Phillips F. T. Progeter M. Tila. Shia. Boa Previa. Jainla. Mais um evento da da semana, o Disney Speed Storm. Esse momento do vídeo está sem áudio, mas já deve estar tá arrumando isso aí. Esses falhas não devem acontecer nos eventos deles, porque é um problema deles, não nosso aqui. E vamos, isso é traduzido para vocês aqui no canal Legendado. Ok? Dê um like, comentário, compartilhar o vídeo e ajudar vocês no canal. Friendly head-to-head -head competitive racing. Let's see how good they are. Or how good I am. No! We'll have a very exclusive Ask Me Anything session with Arby, the in-game companion that created this unique racing universe inspired by Disney and Pixar's beloved stories. And stick around till the end for a never-before-seen trailer drop for the brand new season. But before all that, let's start with an early access retrospective exploring the game's evolution in the last few months from the point of view of the game. So the game was released initially as early access as, let's say, it's the fruit of, of a lot of love and a lot of passion. Right after the release, um, everything became real. Uh, real players were playing in. We had to learn a lot about them and their feedback and everything. And we had to start like applying what they wanted for the, from the game. The early access has been a huge opportunity for us uh, to bring the game to the, to the state it is now for the full release. But for me, the most important one has been how we streamlined the menus and improved uh, the tutorials. And we introduced the game now step by step so that players get a little bite at a time so they can understand better how the game works. Uh, during the early access, we noticed that uh, our daily quests uh, were not maybe rewarding enough. So we wanted to um, give an extra bonus uh, XP for our players that are very engaged and like logging every day and try to do all the daily quests. And basically it makes you progress a lot faster in the season pass than if you just race to complete the notes of the adventure map. That was a, a personal pet peeve of mine actually. Every day when you come in uh, we, we had uh, goals that were like very simple to do. I felt personally that uh, giving them more weight would make people enjoy more coming each day into the game and, and complete uh, those missions. So this makes every day more fun just by adding a little bit more experience there. Along with seasons, uh, time-limited events are one of the reasons why players come back. There's this element of surprise. Events in the game are little bits of fun that we introduced that are time-based. So for a day, for a week, for the entire duration of the season, you have different objectives to complete and you can earn different rewards. Events, they're a cool way to introduce players to new races and also if they want to upgrade uh, specific races, uh, they can use the events. And recently one thing we've done based on the player's feedback is we've streamlined some events by putting different rewards within the specific events, allowing people to very clearly understand where they can upgrade a specific racer and where uh, they can progress inside the game. So the events for unlocking Mulan and also upgrading Mickey Mouse uh, were released quite early during the early access. Um, they were born uh, thanks to the feedback of our players during the early access. They communicated that they wanted to unlock Mulan early and they wanted to upgrade Mickey Mouse further. The new game modes that we released recently, uh, Color Match and Follow the Leader, are, are actually born out of trying to bring new strategies, new ways of playing to the same base game. We are splicing a little bit of different rules into the game. For instance, my personal uh, favorite is uh, Color Match. If you are green, you need to go and grab the green one. It's like super fun because I usually do always the same uh, trace and always go through the same places and this game mode uh, makes me like 
think more about where I'm going and, okay, what color am I? Where should I go? Okay, if I go here, I'm gonna get stunned. So it sounds super straightforward, but when you're in the middle of the race and you have to drift, this extra level of complexity creates a bit of variety and makes a lot of fun and uh, difference between the races in the game. The plan is, in the future, to release more game modes, and the idea is to create a lot of variety and make the game very varied and fun. Now, when you get into private track, uh, you can play with any racer available inside the game, and instead of using your version of Mickey at a specific uh, level of upgrade, we normalized the, uh, the characters as we do in regulated races, and this ensures that all the players in the room are on a fair ground where everybody's got the same level of upgrade for their, for their racer and they can have the maximum fun. So that's very handy for introducing people new to the game, to different racers, they can discover what unique skills they prefer and uh, they can create challenges and have a lot of fun this way. The free-to-play version is actually an, an evolution, it's a next step of the early access. Being able to convert it to free-to-play, being able to open the doors means simply we give more people a chance to experience this, more people to enter the game. Starting a new season, for example, with uh, Disney's Aladdin is, makes it a really special moment. What it allows us is allows us to bring new people into the game, people that grew up with these racers. What we introduce with each season into the game are a new wave of new racers, crew members, a special environment, unique skills. With each season, there's an adventure map that the player can play. There's a lot of chapters in there with a lot of notes. Each note is erased. By completing them, you get XP. So on Disney Speedstorm, we have crossplay and cross save, which is amazing because it means that you can play with all your friends, whatever platform they use. It's uh, quite a technological challenge to get uh, the game to work on all those platforms. And every platform has its own language, so it's very difficult to do. And there's a huge team behind this that has achieved that, so I'm pretty proud of the team. I joined the project uh, one year ago, and it has been like amazing. The team is so passionate about the game, and for me it has been such like a growth experience. I really enjoy working here, and also I can play the game that I worked on in my free time. So it's very cool to have it at work. Being able to show this game that we made, I think that's extremely satisfying. For me, it's key that uh, when people play your game, you can see that they're having a good time. You want them to play against their friends and you want to hear laughter in the room. And that's something that I think we've achieved and uh, that I'm very proud of. Isn't it just incredible to see all the improvements and additions that were made to the game since the early access? New seasons, new tracks, new racers, new crew members, new collectibles, new game modes. And as we've just seen, the game is really fueled by the love and passion of the developers, but also by you, the players. Because without your feedback, the game would not be what it is today. Now, I have a unique chance to do something that I've always dreamt of doing. Racing someone from the game team. Let's see how I fare against Antoine. Are you ready? I'm ready. Up. <laughs> do the perfect start. You can <laughs> rush ahead. You can use the skills. Oh no! I'll wait for you a bit. And then burn you. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you know that each racer has got a, a special unique skill. So for example, I'm Donald Duck. Mm -hmm. I can activate his unique skill and I'm invulnerable, so even if you manage to uh, stun me, I'll be protected. Also, if I'm behind you, I get a slipstream and I get a free boost out of you. So it's a catch-up mechanic. So Toon Village is uh, inspired by the uh, classic Disney movies of yore. And it's got little references around here. There's the House of Mouse. There it is. The House of Mouse can be spotted here. So I'm just on your tail and boom. I use the charged fire to do a large explosion. Ow. That stuns the opponents. I'll catch up, don't worry about me. And the other thing you can do with each skill, 
So if you charge it, you get a different effect. So being Donald Duck, mm -hmm. I try to catch up to you and activate my uh, charge unique. And if I charge my unique, Donald gets uh, a bit irate. Okay. I can punch you out of the way. I'll put a bomb there on your way. Yep. <laughs> Oh, no! What? That's the dash. Drifting, you can do uh, stunts in the air no. to get extra speed. <laughs> what happened? Well, you got stuck, I guess. And your unique uh, yes. places furniture on the track. So it's quite strong. If you charge it, you, uh, you get the little birds spawn on the track to, to give a boost to everybody that touches them. Punchy punch. Mm -hmm. So fire, you can use it just by tapping and you get a fire aura. But if you use it backwards, you spawn fire behind you, that stuns you. Yes, very good demonstration of what that was. <laughs> Thank you. When you're on the rail, you can balance the vehicle around. So hop can be used to uh, access special shortcuts. But also when you're on a ramp, up, you can do stunts. I won't let you win. Arr. No! GG. Well played. Well played. <laughs> that was thrilling. And quite frankly, not enough. I want to race somebody else. But before I do that, here are some of the features to look for in the new free-to-play release of Disney Speedstorm. You can expect a more advanced version of the assisted steering in the form of RB Drive, which will come in handy when you're looking for a more casual racing experience. We've also made a lot of improvements to the power-ups and balancing of the racers that will have a significant impact for the players. Of course, you can also look forward to new racers and new environments as the new seasons roll out. And also, we've made some improvements to the vanity loop, so you can expect new avatars, motos, suits, liveries, and victory animations. Now, for my second race with the game team, I'll be joined by Elsa. Let's see if I can do better than last time. Okay, let's do this. And for instance, these like starts that you have, they are different depending on the class. Okay. So you need to learn them all, learn all the four. And this what part of the map is super nice. We go like oh, parallel wow. to the wall. It is so confusing when the screen flips yeah, like that. The controls get like switched. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm learning about Buzz's uh, ability. Oh, you try it? Yes. Do you like it? It's super cool. Yeah. Also, depending on the crew members that you have equipped, yeah. you might have like a, an ability when you start the, the race. So maybe you can start with bomb and stun everyone just at, right at the beginning. Oh, right. Or, or cloak and you get invisible and you don't get stunned by anything when everyone is, is starting the race. So your crew members are sort of power up, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Careful. We... Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you almost hit me. That was unintentional. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, you hit me back. Yeah. What? We both what got stunned. We what both happened? got stunned. <laughs> Let me cut you. Let me cut you. Oy. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Almost though. No. Oh, I love how every track feels like familiar, but then completely unique. Can you tell me a bit more about how they were uh, conceived and built? Every season, we release one new track that is inspired by Disney and Pixar movies, and we try to capture that special feeling the movie has, um, representing all the iconic places and all the iconic things that the movie has. So whenever you play, besides like having like a super hectic and fun race, you also see those those iconic places and remember the movie and say like, oh, that feels like, no, 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 no. <gasps> that cannot be. I won, I won. <laughs> I'm getting better at this, good game. Good <laughs> <Okay>. game. <sighs> Wow, well that was played. so close yeah, at the yeah, end. So Somehow the that, end. that ability just saved me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can never get enough of the exhilaration I feel when I'm racing. It is, to put it quite simply, the best feeling in the world. Big shout out for our game team for this amazing demonstration of skills and grace under pressure. I think it is safe to say they've shown me what it's like to race like a pro. Now, we've received a lot of questions from you, the players, and we've relayed some of them to RB, our in-game companion, for this Ask Me Anything segment. Here's what Arby had to say about it. The first trick would be to do double or triple stunts, or what we call stunt chains. The cart will spark blue when you can perform a stunt while jumping. 
During long jumps, if you press the stun button each time the card sparks blue, you can perform multiple stunts. The second trick would be boosting. When you're boosting, you can drive over rough terrain that would otherwise slow you down and remain at full speed. Once your boost bar is full, start boosting as soon as possible so you don't lose any extra boost you might gain, unless you're saving it for a nearby specific shortcut. While we wanted to include a little reference for each of the racers that is either linked to their movie or the characters themselves, we have some that are easier to figure out, like 626 for Stitch, but also some trickier ones like 8 for Elizabeth Swan, referencing pieces of 8, or 45 for Celia May, as Disney and Pixar's Monsters, Inc. is Disney's 45th animated feature. On the A Pirate's Life racetrack, there is a part of the track where you are driving between two pirate ships. This is a reference to the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at the Disney parks. While each racetrack that was designed for Disney Speedstorm is inspired directly by a Disney or Pixar story. Our goal is to craft a thrilling race circuit that not only excites players with its twists and turns, but also resonates with the essence of the films it's based on. When it comes to racer classes, Disney Speedstorm has something to offer for any kind of player, so you can find the right fit for your playstyle. If you value top speed, then Speedsters is the class for you. If you like confusing your opponents, you should try out the Trickster class. If you're more attack-minded, the Brawler class could be the one for you. And if you would rather protect yourself during the race, you can give the Defender class a go. Well, quite frankly, collaborating with the community in order to improve the game for its full launch has been the highlight of the Early Access phase. So thank you for that. Well, I'm happy to say that Antoine, our amazing lead game designer, has proven himself to be hands down the best at the studio. I think we all can't wait for everyone to get their hands on the game and enjoy the full Disney Speedstorm experience. We are almost at the end of this free-to-play launch event, but before we wrap up, let's have a sneak peek at the upcoming new season. Inspired by, drumroll, Disney's Frozen. Get ready to race in a new icy environment with new racers and new crew members in a brand new adventure map. That is super exciting. Well, that brings us to the conclusion of this free-to-play launch event. Thank you all so much for joining us for these exciting announcements, and we'd like to thank all of the players for being just as passionate as we are about Disney's mm -hmm. pizza. Ah, but before you go, I promised you an exclusive trailer earlier, and I plan to deliver on that promise. So enjoy this new, never-before-seen trailer for the new season, and I look forward to catching all of you on the racetracks. OBS to 9.1 de desktop. Maximize art. Wow, wow, wow. You want to do the speed storm? É para vocês. Eu fui ganhando por aqui. Valeu, falou e eu digo que eu não, eu sou muito não. Interromper transmissão.